so for this tutorial i'm going to be using my yarn my size 4 millimeter hook and my yarn now you can use any yarn of your choice depending on the yarn you have available to you and also depending on how thick or how light you want your project to be so to get started you're going to measure your waist and your hips and divide by, by two and that is the measurement you're going to be using or you can use just your waist measurement or just your hips measurement depending on your size now for my foundation chain i'm going to make a chain that is in multiples of 10 so no matter the amount of chains you end up with make sure it's in multiples of 10 because you need that for the pattern that we're working with today so now i'm just going to make my foundation chain and i'm going to make sure it's in multiple of 10. i have the amount of chains i want and i ended up doing a total of 120 chains and this is a multiple of 10. now i'm going to join the two ends of the foundation chain together to close the chain for the first row start by making a chain of one going to the first stage with one half double crochet now you're going to go into the next stitch with one half double crochet. Put one half double crochet into the next stitch. For this row, you're just putting one half double crochet across the chain till you get to the end of the row. the second row and I'm going to switch stage to close up the round now for the third row I'm going to be working with the post stitch start by making a chain of one in the first eight stitches go in with one double crochet one two three four five six seven and eight and i have my first eight double crochets in the next two stitches you're going to go in with the front push double crochet so go into the ninth stitch with a front push double crochet and go into the front post of the 10th stitch with a double crochet so you have eight stitches eight double crochets and then two front post stitches in the next eight stitches go in with one double crochet one two three four five six seven Eight. now in the next two stitches go into the front post with a double crochet one two in the next eight stitches go in with one double crochet one two three four five six seven eight in the next two stitches go in with the front post double crochet so what you're doing is you're alternating between eight double crochets and two front post stitches and you're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row i'm at the end of the third row and i'm going to slip stitch to close up the round for the fourth row i'm going to be increasing so start by making a chain of one in the first eight double crochet stitches go in with one double crochet one two three 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट नाउ इन द स्पेस बिफोर द बिफोर द फोर स्टेज go in with two double crochets in the front four stitch go in with your front four double crochet in the space after the four stitch go in with two double crochets this serves as your increase now in the next eight double crochet stitches go in with one double crochet Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, in the space before the next two post stitches, go in with two double crochets. One, two. Go into the front post stitch with your front post double crochet. In the space after the post stitches, go in with two double crochets, and you have your increase. Now you're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row. So in the double crochet stitches, you're putting in one double crochet in each of the stitches. Then when you get to the space before the post stitch, you're going to go in with two double crochets and you're going to do the same for the space after the front post stitch. So you're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row. Now I'm at the end of the fourth row. I'm going to slip stitch to close up the round. For the fifth row, I'm going to put one double crochet in each of the double crochet stitches. Now I've gotten to where I have my post stitch. In the space before the post stitch, go in with two double crochets. Now go into the post stitch with your front post double crochet. In the space after the post stitch, go in with two double crochets. Now go into the next few double crochet stitches that you get to the next post stitch. So for this row, you're repeating what you did for row 4. You're putting one double crochet in each stitch. Now when you get to the space before the post stitch, you're going to go in with two double crochets. Put one double crochet in each of the double crochet stitches. Now I've come to the space before the first stitch, go in with two double crochets. Go into the first stitch with your front post double crochet. In the space after the first stitch, go in with two double crochets. You're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row. Now you're going to do this for a few more rows to have the amount of rows of increase you want and then I will show you what to do next.
I've gotten the length I want for my skirt and I did a total of 40 rolls alternating between the double crochet stitch and the post stitch. Now I already went around my waist so I used my black yarn to go around my waist with a single crochet just to clean up the waist part of the skirt. Now for the lower part since I have my black yarn on the waistband I'm going to be going around the lower part of the skirt with a black color. So I'm just going to attach my black yarn. Now I'll be going around the lower part of the skirt with one single crochet. So I'm just putting one single crochet in each stitch and I'm going to do this till I get to the end of the row. So I'm done going around the lower part of the skirt with one single crochet and this is what the skirt looks like. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial and please don't forget to subscribe if you love my videos.